Welcome to WP Mat. In this video, we are going to learn about Select Control of Elements Kit Widget Builder. In order to show you how Select Control works, I will work with one of our existing widget named Code Block. In this widget, we will bring some theme option. Let me show you what I'm talking. Here you can see from Code Pan, this design is similar to our widget design, but this is based on blue color. In the top, there is a class name theme blue. Now, what if I change this to theme dark? There you can see all the color has changed based on dark. Now, what if I make it default? Now, there you will find it looks like completely same as our widget. So in here in the top, we'll change this class name using our selector control. Go to dashboard, elements kit, widget builder. Here is our existing widget named code block. Edit this one. Now search select and there you'll find your control. Drag and drop in the second column and you'll find some option there like label name etc i'll change the label as theme and name as theme settings all right you can pass value using the options below the first option i'll choose as default and the value will be default and the second option I'll choose dark theme and the value will be only dark. The third option I'll choose blue theme and the value will be only blue. In the right side you can see we have a new variable named theme settings. This variable name change according to the control name. And this variable also contains the result of the control. Now, we have to take the result from this variable and paste it just here. Because depending on the suffix of the theme class, the color of this widget change. That's why we have to apply our variable here. Make sure your cursor is here. Then click on your variable. Save it. Go to your front page. And refresh the page. After refreshing the page, click on your widget. From settings, you will find the theme option. Now it's default. Let's choose dark theme and you'll see the change. Now let's choose the blue theme and it's working now. This was an example how you can use select control. You can apply it in many different projects you want in many different ways. Thank you for watching this video.